Hi everyone! Welcome to our first online and video tutorial here in Pinamat Dali together with your mathematics teacher, Sir Vince. And for today, I will be teaching you arithmetic sequence. And I will be showing more examples in dealing with arithmetic sequence. So last time, we are done discussing what is arithmetic sequence. So for a short review, ano ba ang arithmetic sequence? It is also called as arithmetic progression in which it is a numerical pattern from which the difference between any two consecutive terms is always constant. So as we recall the formula to use, we will use this formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d where a sub n is the general term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. So ito yung formula na natin gagamitin for our arithmetic sequence. Now, if we can explore this formula, meron pa tayong kayang i-derive ng mga formula from this arithmetic sequence. So we have this for a sub n, for our general term. For a sub 1, okay, so we have this a sub n minus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So, paano ba yung kinuha? So, it was derived from the original formula na nasa taas, yung kulay pink. And then, upon deriving the formula, upon transposing some terms, we concluded with that formula na a sub 1 equals a sub n minus n minus 1 times d. So, ginagamit siya kapag hinahanap yung first term. Okay? Next. In finding the common difference, or kung hinahanap ang common difference, we will use the formula a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. And, kung hinahanap naman yung n or number of terms, we can use the formula a sub n minus a sub 1 divided by d all, move, all add by 1. So, tandaan itong apat na formula to dahil ito ay gagamitin natin sa mga examples na parating. Okay? So, kung kaya na, let's proceed with our example number 1. For our example number 1, so let's say we have an arithmetic sequence which is given yung first term na negative 3 and the common difference is 14 and we are ought to find its 20th term so ang unang gagawin is to find all the given so una so sabi dun sa given meron ka daw first term na negative 3 so the first term is denoted by a sub 1 na negative 3. And ano pang given? Meron pang common difference na 14. Now, ang sinasabi, find its 20th term. And ba sabi ko last time, yung hinaha 20th term, yung 20th term, that is the value of n. Okay? Pang ilan yung term? That's the number n or the letter n na number 20. So ano bang hinahanap? ang hinahanap yung term na pang 20 or a sub 20. So now, we are finding a sub n or the a sub 20. So we will be using the first formula which is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So ngayon, meron ka ng given at alam mo na rin yung formula na dapat mong gamitin. Tandaan ha, Una, kailangan mo hanapin yung given. Tapos, hanapin mo, ano ba yung ina-ask sa problem? So, for this kind of problem, ang inahanap is a sub n. So, since a sub n, we will be using the first formula, yung kanina, which is yung a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Now, after knowing the formula to be used, the, uh, the next step is to substitute all the given in our formula. So, paano mag-substitute? So, yan. So, we have the value of n. So, we can have a sub 20 
equals negative 3, yun yung a sub 1, plus n na 20, minus 1, multiplied by d, which is 14. So, kung napansin nyo, I just simply substitute or pinalitan ko lang lahat ng value mula sa given, papasok doon sa ating formula. Okay? Now, let's apply the GEMDAS rule. Anong unahin? Start with parenthesis. So, let us subtract 20 minus 1. Anong sagot? That's 19. Pretty good. So, this will be a sub 20 equals negative 3 plus 19 multiplied by 14. And the order of operation, anong unahin? multiplication. So now, multiply natin. 19 times 14, that's 266. Okay? This will become negative 3 plus 266. And for our last step, just simply add the two numbers. Negative 3 plus 266 is equal to 263. Therefore, our a sub 20 or the last term, or the 20th term in the given is 263. Okay? So, nakuha ba? Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, and i-digest. Okay? So, now, let us proceed to our next example. Example number 2. So, in this kind of example, so, basahin natin, in an arithmetic sequence, the first term is 4, and the common difference is 3, which term is 301. So, dito na iba. Okay? So, unahin natin, lagi yung una, find all the given. Again, hahanapin mo lahat ng given. So, sa problem, sabi dyan, the first term is 4. Okay? First term, so, siya yung a sub 1 na 4. Tapos, meron daw common difference. That's letter D na equals to 3. At ang tanong, which term is 301? So, kung sa Tagalog, pang ilang term yung 301? So, hindi hinahanap yung number. So, ang tinatanong, pang ilan siya sa sequence? So, kung ang ganyan ang tanong, ibig sabihin, ang meron tayo is the A sub N. Tandaan ha, ang hinahanap pang ilang term si 301. So, ano yung N? So, ang hinahanap is the value of n. Ngayon, since ang hinahanap is n, okay, so look back doon sa formula kanina, we will use this formula for n, which is the a sub n minus a sub 1 over d plus 1. Okay? Now, let us now substitute all the given sa ating formula. So, we have a sub n na 301 minus 4 na ating a sub 1 all over 3 plus 1. Okay? So, paano ba yan? Paano yan sinasolve? Unahin mo yung nasa numerator, nasa taas ng fraction. So, subtract mo muna yung 301 minus 4. Ilan yon? That will be 297 all over 3 plus 1. And now, Okay? Simplify mo yung fraction. So, divide mo. So, what is now 297 over 3? Ilan yun? That's 99. Okay? So, our n will be 99 plus 1. And again, just simply add the two numbers. 99 plus 1 is equal to 100. So, therefore, 301 is the 100 term. Siya yung pang isang daan sa ating arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, ito yung ginagawa kapag hinahanap yung letter N or the number of term. Pang ilan siya doon sa arithmetic sequence. Nakuha ba? Very good. So, now, kaya na mag-proceed sa next example. Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, and i-digest. Okay? So, let's move on to our first, uh, third example, example number 3. So, sabi, in an arithmetic sequence, the 20th term is 132, and the common difference is 7. What is the first term? 
So, ngayon ang hinahanap, first term. Tama. So, ano na gagawin? Find all the given. So, based on the problem, sabi dyan, the 20th term is 132. So, ibig sabihin, your N, yung pang ilang term, that's number 20. Now, what is now A sub N? A sub N is equal to 132. Again ha, yung kung pang ilan siya, yun yung N. Yung number na yun na mismo, that's A sub N. Yung term doon sa sequence. Now, ano pang given? Meron na common difference na 7. And anong hinahanap? A sub 1. Okay, and then looking back with our formula, nung mga kanakaraan, how to find A sub 1? We will use this formula, A sub N minus N minus 1 multiplied by D. Okay, let's start. Let us substitute all the given. So, hinahanap sa A sub 1 equals A sub N na 132 minus 20 na N minus 1 times the value of D which is 7. Okay, again, gem does rule unahin nyo parenthesis. So, 20 minus 1, it's 19. Okay? And then, rules of operation, anong unahin? Multiplication. So, multiply natin. What is 19 times 7? Sige nga. Okay, very good. It's 133. So, therefore, ang may E1 is A sub 1 equals 132 2 minus 133. And just simply subtract these two numbers and you will get negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang unang term or the first term in the given sequence is negative 1. Okay? I hope nakuha and the gets. So, we can have our last example. Kopyahin, namnamen, and i-digest. For our last example, example number 4. So, in an arithmetic sequence, the first term is 14 and the 15th term is 168. Find the common difference. So, ang inaharap ngayon, the D. Tapos may given. Ano mga given? First term, tapos yung 15th term. Okay? So, let's start. Let's identify all the given. So, ang una daw, the first term is 14. So, A sub 1 equals 14. Ano bang given? 15th term. So, again, yung 15th term, that's the value of N. So, N equals 15. And then, last, we have A sub N na 168. Now, anong hinahanap? Sabi, find its common difference, which is the D. Now, looking back dun sa formula kanina, paano kinukuha yung D? So, we have this formula, A sub N minus A sub 1 all over N minus 1. Again, let's try to substitute all the given. So, we have A sub N na 168 minus 14 all over 15 minus 1. Okay? Again, I just simply substitute all the given. Next, we have, so, let's just simply operate doon sa numerator at denominator. So, 168 minus 14, that's 154. And 15 minus 1, that's 14. Okay? And then, for the last step, just simply divide the numerator and the denominator so, what is 24 divided 14? Ilan? That's 11. So, ibig sabihin, the common difference in that particular sequence is 11. Okay? Nakuha ba? I hope nakuha. So, for yourself, so, try to solve this one. So, let's to assess yourself, in an arithmetic sequence, the first term is negative 2, and the common difference is 5. Find its 23rd term. So, ano bang mahalaga? Again, 
So, lagi ang malaga ay, alam mo yung formula, 